Start by logging in as the admin. The ExamNet admin may be used as a component of eAcademy or as a separate component for a testing system. So in the testing system menu, there would be an optional exam admin, exam net admin, and an exam net client. Both of the admin menu buttons would only be available to exam proctors and administrators. What the user would see for an exam net installation would only be the exam net client. ExamNet Admin is a testing system. It allows for the creation of questionnaires, exams, assigning of exams, and reviewing the same. In this example, the JEP demo student has exams that have been auto-assigned through the assignation of a course, in this case PPL and ATPL. To assign another exam, highlight the exam that you want to assign and click on the Assign arrow. The exam will appear in the Assignations column. The templates for the exams can be found under the Questionnaire tab. These templates are for standard classes. By clicking on the New Examination Template button, you may create a new examination template using this screen. I'll create a demo exam with a 45-minute time limit. Question Catalogs open. Within the catalog are different modules. In this example, if I wanted to set up a performance exam, I'd highlight performance and then determine the question mode. Random questions would select random questions from the entire catalog. I can give time limits to certain questions by selecting the button Questions with Time Limits. Questions are disabled when the student reaches the time limit. The random chapter selection will randomize questions from the entire module catalog. The defined questions selection is used when you want to trigger specific questions out of the catalog. As a word of caution, triggering specific questions could be problematic if those are taken out of the catalog in the future possibly making the entire exam faulty. Let's set up exam questions for the module General Performance Theory. I'll choose Random Questions and then select the number of questions I want to appear. We'll choose some landing questions. They will be random questions. Transpose Answers will randomize the answers so they would not appear in the same sequence as they do in the catalog. A, B, C, and D would appear in a different order. Once we are done, we simply save the exam. The new exam template appears in the Available Examination Templates column. Now I can make a new exam by clicking on the Examination tab. Then, populate the new examination window, including the required performance percentage, which in this case is 75%. The questions appear in the Available Questionnaire column, and they can be assigned by clicking on the Assign button. The demo exam appears in the Examination Content column. Examination properties can be reviewed in this area of the screen. Once we click on Save, the new exam appears in the Available Examination column. Now this exam may be assigned. Click on the Assignation tab, highlight the student that you wish to assign the exam to, and then click the Assign button. The Evaluation tab allows for the review of the exams. We can see that my demo student has finished some exams. To show results, highlight the exam and then click on the Show Print Results button. By showing results, we can print exam reports that can be tailored to the client.
Answers may be evaluated manually by clicking on the Examiner Evaluation button. Choose the type of question that you would like to manually evaluate and then click Continue. You can now move through the questions to find the question that the student claims to have a different correct answer. As an administrator, you may override the score if you feel that the student has justification for a scoring change. The exam score will update after making a change in the evaluation. We can see that the score changed from 25% to 28.57%. The rest of the ExamNet client screen is used to control language, to get license information, and to set printer settings to print exam reports. The User Manual tab allows for insight into all the user functions within ExamNet. We can see what we've done from the student's perspective by logging out of the administrator and then logging back in as our demo student. Click on the ExamNet client. That would be the examination tool. In this example, choose the exam that we just created and then click Start Selected. The selected seven question exam appears and is confirmed in the information window that shows a 45 minute time limit. Now we can take the exam, answering all seven questions. We can leave comments for the examiner by clicking on the comment button. These comments can be reviewed by the examiner after the student finishes the exam. We finished this demo test well under the allotted time, so we can exit by clicking on the exit button. When the student exits the exam, they close the exam and changes are no longer allowed. This check mark in the status column means that the exam has been completed and can't be reopened. We have to exit as a student and log in as the administrator in order to see the exam results. Click on the ExamNet Admin button. Then click on the Evaluation tab. Highlight our demo student in the User column. Find Demo Exam in the Finished Examination column. You can see that the student only scored 28.57%. Now we can do an evaluation. This screen tells you which questions were proctored, the question's catalog number, and name. You can see what area was tested and what database was used. This screen shows which answers were given and what comments were made. The evaluator can review the comments and give credit for the answers or go back to the student for further discussion. You can control what language from this screen. German and English are currently available. The Exam Multi-User button is used for uncontrolled access to all the learning material. In this case, we have the PPL and the ATPL installed.
statistics is for the student's use internally. They can check their progress here. Under the Examination Templates tab, students may create their own examination templates. For example, a student may want to set up an exam template to track his or her performance and practice under conditions that are similar to the exam. This concludes the ExamNet and Multi-User section.